Crowd favorite, hometown guy. Paying homage to his traditional martial art to his family with his Taekwondo black belt. Another one looks very calm. Well, Luis has competed in Taekwondo for a long life. time. Yep. You know, yes. he, this is just what he does. And I really have a feeling we're going to see the best Luis Melendez we've seen to date tonight. Yep. But I also feel we're going to see the best Ryan Martin we've seen. Yeah, that, that kid, every time he fights, gets better and better and better. Each one of these gentlemen are students of the game. With identical records. I don't even know what this beat is, Brian, but I just want to like start punching you. This is like, uh, yeah, some trap, like some house. Yeah, like I just want to start moshing you and elbowing. Why did this music makes you want to punch me? Yeah, something okay. about the beat. Interesting. Is it or is it something about my face? No, not you. you. You're sure? just next oh, to me. Okay, because I mean, it's about proximity. <laughs> okay, so you. Not <laughs> personal, well, Brian. If I if I if I move this back two inches. Yeah. <laughs> Every inch matters. <laughs> <laughs> I've been punched a couple times in my life. <laughs> <laughs> this music makes me want to punch you. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll hug it out. We'll still hug it we out will. at the end of the night. Nothing like we always do. Nothing but love. So, I mean, I, I don't know if you look at it from an odds maker perspective, but it's a co-main event. It matters. How do you handicap this one? Is, who's the favorite? Who's a slight dog? I, for me personally, Go I'm going to give the slight edge to Melendez. Yeah, I, I would too. Yeah. I mean, even though Ryan Martin's coming, come a long ways coming up, just the background of Luis exponentially grows better every time. He wanted to make a statement in his last fight that he was a grappler, not just a striker, and he definitely proved that. As wow. Well, I think we found out who the crowd favorite is. Both these guys are local. Ryan Martin coming out of Sukti Muay Thai with crew Jeremy Hunt, Logan Samarja, Cage Wars veteran. Uh, Cage Wars veteran, Hasib Kitab. And now when I say I give Luis an edge, I mean it's like a small, yeah. small edge. It's not one of those things where like I expect this guy to win. No. Yeah. Yeah, we both, they're both gamers. For me, it's going to be whether Ryan can close the distance, stay out of the kicking range of Luis. Oh, yeah. Because them kicks are lethal. Pound, 170-pound title up for grabs here at Cage Wars 59. Another sold-out show here at Rivers. We've Coming some, back in September. Get your tickets early. Don't miss out, early guys. Only. It will sell out. And here comes Ryan Martin. And we'll send it up to Mike Falvo. Mike Falvo. Mikey Falvo. The action continues in the card for Cage Wars 59. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our co-main event of the evening. It is for the vacant Cage Wars 170 pound championship. This championship fight and all of our championship fights this evening are sanctioned by the United States Muay Thai Association. Executive Director Ed Kinner is in attendance. The judges for this championship fight are Mr. David Bruce, Rob X. Sisa, and Chris Polinski. The fight doctor at cage side is Dr. Michael Sheridan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, three three-minute rounds for the vacant 170-pound championship. Let's do this! <laughs> Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in yesterday 172 pounds. Representing Team Zhukao out of Scotia, New York, Luis Handsome Lou Melendez. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in last night at 171 pounds even. Representing Suk Team Wai Thai and Mixed Martial Arts out of Albany, New York, Ryan Martin.
This feels big, doesn't it? Ryan getting a big pop. This feels big. Both guys, both guys by the way, look like look to be in tremendous shape. This feels big. Three three-minute rounds for the 170-pound title here. Cage Wars 59. Now, Martin did I hear them right? They said Luis weighed in at 172. I didn't hear that. But okay, I was gonna say he'd be over the weight limit. Yeah, yeah that should be. Uh, 171. Yep. So that's interesting. I wonder. All right. All right, Luis coming out in that southpaw stance. Ryan Martin orthodox. Both these guys showing one another some respect. Are you are you saying were you saying Will that it, you, you may not normally get there's the a title? one pound variance. Oh, okay, okay. I'm just a commentator though. <laughs> I think it's it, sometimes it's agreed upon too by both fighters. I would imagine. But usually when there's a title it's associated, yeah. it negates that. So yeah. we'll see. There's, yeah, there. Ryan Martin doing a smart thing. You notice he's working his left, which is away from Luis's power leg. That being said, Luis can still get that left, le uh, the right leg up. So it's kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Ryan doing a good job in and out. L yeah. Luis moves very smooth. Yeah, not a lot of waste of no. energy. He's very smooth and efficient. Wow. Oh, good sure. awareness by Ryan, though. Yeah, he got his hand. He got the guard up quick on that. Or that would have been lights out. I feel like that kick. I feel like that head kick's gonna be there again. Ryan's utilization of his hands is actually. And his, his face, his come head a lot, movement. Come a long way from Oh, sure. 100%. Both these guys. Ooh, oh, wow. Liver. Liver kick. Oh. Liver Goodness. kick. Oh. Perfect placement. Wow. That looked like a giga kick. Giga Chikatsi. Oh. It's got to be excruciating. I mean, he fell It's debilitating. He, if it's you like, have never been kicked in the liver, you don't get it. No. It totally shuts everything off. Yes. Oh, he rocketed back. Yeah. It was like a recoil. It, it, yeah, that's terrible. Ooh, that hurts. I don't wish that up. <laughs> was it definitely, it was definitely a liver shot? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was to the to Ryan's right side. Yep, yeah. you see the doctor feeling it. Wow. You know, I mean... And when that's placing, especially a guy that can deliver that kind of power from those kicks like Luis can. You know, I mean, it's not something that you have a choice of. It's not like, ow, that hurt a little bit or my stomach. Like, no, no your body shuts you don't have a down. Choice. You don't have a choice, yep. And, and, but talk about the placement, too, though. It's got to be, it's pinpoint accuracy. It really does. I mean, like I said, that, you know, hopefully we'll see a replay, but it looked like what they call the Giga, chi the giga kick you, from Giga Chigazzi, where basically it's kind of this loopy but yet straight kick where you get hit in the liver. I was training with Cage Wars veteran Don Walton a couple months back, and he hit me with one, and it took me like five seconds. Also, I was like, "Oh damn, shit, it, that sucks." Are you? Are, is it? Here we go. Let's see the replay. Is it bottom of the foot or is it top of the? Usually, top of the. Okay. Usually, the ball, of the foot. Ball. Of, oh, oh yeah, the ball. Yeah, yes, the ball, the, the ball. foot comes in and, yes. and pushes. Wow. Yeah. Watch it. He catches here. him coming in. Watch it comes off that back foot. And, and the foot is rising so that the ball just literally catches his liver. Well, and he peels the foot, the toes back so he can deliver that foot. Setting. Bang! Oh, and then drives. Dro drives. Drops him. See, right in that right side. I mean, he got shot back, though. Well, it's like shock. Look, his right elbow comes to protect the liver because that's your body's natural reaction. Yeah. We're going to bring it up to Mike Falvo. Yep. And like I said, anybody at home that doubts that, go to your local MMA gym, take one of those, then talk to me. We've seen it enough. You, you, you shouldn't doubt that anymore. And now, ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for these two great fighters and one hell of a championship fight. Referee Dan Mergliato has called a stop to the fight. One minute, 31 seconds into round number one for your winner. 
by way of TKO via liver kick and new Cage Wars welterweight champion, Luis Handsome Lou Melendez. Well deserved. You know, and, and you can't take anything away from Ryan Martin. That was just one of those things that happens, and he was looking good. He made adjustments. That was the best Ryan Martin we've seen to, to date. But 